Hey guys, welcome back. Dev Spider here. So, got a nap in, took some, got some sleep. Finally, been, you know, back and forth to the hospital. So, hopefully, I've got more energy. Sound a little bit better than I did on the previous episode. Sorry that I was exhausted. Uh, we had to get the rope gun, though. Needed to get a lot done. So, if you look at the base from here, you can see I put a wall on top of it. I'm trying to use that to zipline using this gun. I don't know if it just used my zipline up. Uh, nope, we st I've had, had one on me and we still have it. So there is a max distance on the zipline and this is pretty much it. So I shot the wall and I kept walking this way and we cap out right here. So what I think I'm going to do is we can either try to tie it to the ground or I can grab this pole right here and put it down. So we're going to cheat up just a little bit. Think that I wouldn't be surprised that they end up coming by here and destroying it because they're always patrolling around us. And then we're going to come back over here and get close enough to see it, shoot the wall, and then we're going to try to run that zip line back over here. Now it will turn red, but I think that's just based on it having nothing to attach to. I'm not positive because it would also turn black whenever I looked at the ground. So we're going to test this out really fast. So you're looking for the white circle. Uh, you can barely see it. If I get closer, it'll show up, but it's on the wall right now. So when you see that circle, you know you can shoot the object and it'll attach. So we're just going to back up a hair. Uh, right there looks pretty good. And you can see it's red. You'll hear it cranking as we back up. So it looks like we can attach it here too because it's got a white spot there. And on the ground it stays black too so we might be able to attach it to the ground. Because there's also a white dot there. But I'd like to get the maximum distance I can so I don't have to run so far. I'm hoping they won't destroy it. If they do we'll just have to put a bunch of traps and spikes around it and it'll probably keep it safe. So like right there, the color's changing. It's changing on the cliff face too, as long as I stand here. I wonder if I get close enough to hit a tree. Or if it's just going to shoot in the opposite direction. I don't see the circle showing up though. But I know if I go too far, it'll, it'll snap. I mean, if we could go to the top of the cliff, that that probably would work out fine. Maybe if I put some stairs over here. Because I know we're within a couple of steps of it snapping loose completely. But since I'm after logs, it might be better to start from a tree and then work my way back. Oh wait, there we go. I can see it on the tree now. I wonder if I... No, I can't shoot it or do anything with it. Okay, so let's try to attach it here then. Okay, so that's about the max distance that a zipline can go. It says E to trash it. I don't want to trash it. Okay, there we go. If we look at the hook, we can trash it. And then from here, we should... There we go. Be able to zipline all the way back to the base so we don't have to keep running back and forth. So that works out pretty nice. So I'm going to grab another zipline from in here. Let's see, where did I put them? I thought I had some extras. Maybe I, I might have to go make some. I don't know. I don't see any more in here. So yeah, we're going to have to go back to the 3D shop and, and print some. Hopefully I have enough ink left. But that's ziplining guys, so that's with the rope gun that we just got. That's what it's capable of. I don't know why I was going to run over there. <laughs> we can save time this way. Actually, let's eat some food while we're up here. So what we can do is get us another zipline, take it from one of those trees, attach it to here. And then we can send logs to here that jump down uh, and send logs all the way up to the base. So if we want to make any expansions or improvements, we can do that without it taking so long. Now I could maybe reach that the top of that cliff over there from the base. It's a little bit closer, but this will work out just fine. Uh, I do want to eventually try to build a wall out here and try to see if we can't defend it from the natives. Uh, from there, though, today's goal, first we're going to get us another zipline, and then we're going to head to that next cave right below the helicopter crash that's straight north of us. That's the next closest one that we haven't been to yet. Um, after that, we'll start making our way around the other ones at the top. All right, so we ran back over to the 3D printer, and we're currently making grappling hooks. It looks like we get two per craft. <laughs> We're going to make one more set. It costs 100 ink per print. Okay, so with that, I think we still gonna, might need rope. Let's take a look. So we have one zipline rope on us. Not sure where we get that from. And if we come down here below the can opener, we have four printed hooks. And then, yeah, it needs one rope. Right, and there we have it. So we should have enough zip lines for to last this little while now. I'm going to come back over here and grab some of this loot. And then, like I said, we're going to head up to that cave. All right, everyone. So we made it up here by the cave. It's a little bit loud, sorry, I'll try to fix that again in editing. I feel like I've been doing a much better job with the uh, water sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay down... Oh, now I'm getting into the loud side of the water sounds. We're going to lay down a, a tarp. Try to, so we can do a quick save in case anything goes wrong or we can't fully complete the cave, so we don't waste a bunch of resources trying. All right, so we got the save now, and we are ready to go into the cave. Alright everybody, I had to log out for a bit and take care of some stuff in real life, but we are back. We're going to dive into this cave, hopefully find some good stuff. We've got decent armor, not great. What in the world am I looking at? <laughs> Alright, so we've got a zip line right here. I'm assuming this just drops in an, is that an air tank? Alright, cool, so we've got an air tank right here at the bottom of this pit. And let's jump back out of here, head back to the top. Uh, a little light right there we could mess with, piece of cloth. And I guess we're heading into the depths of the cave. Please don't land me on anything terrifying. 
I was so I was so scared there's gonna be like tons of mut mutants and uh, monstrosities running around. Where's the zipline at? Okay, so the light shines on the tips of it. Oh, is that another air tank? Okay, so another air tank right here by this light underneath the zip line. I think we'll follow the same pattern and we'll just go right and just kind of hug these walls. Hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> we did save outside the cave just in case. We are past the live stream now, so I have no idea what we're going to find. See, so we've got a laptop right here, some energy drinks, duct tape, a uh, dead body. Let's go and smash this. I did bring grenades this time and already have two bombs made. Oh, I'm already full of medicine. Okay, cool. He's got some vodka in his hand. That's how I'd go out too, probably. Right, so we know where some meds are at if we need to heal in a minute. I'll probably come back in here or backtrack with a flashlight just to make sure I don't miss anything. If I do miss something, uh, like we said in the previous videos, I'll come back and add that into the video towards the end. It looks like we're going to have to swim. Right, so we've got a big, large water source here. Some rope. Let's check out this other light. It's usually a clue. Looks like a way to get back across possibly. All right, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to swim, which I'm going to just assume means that there's going to be underwater caverns. So we got to explore those. Then up the forest, you can get a little bit convoluted. Yeah, we're just going to hug the right wall and we'll take a look. Hopefully we have enough oxygen. Uh, we should have like three tanks on us since we just found those two. So it should be a big deal. I wonder if I should stay at the surface level first. This thing's pretty deep. All right, so this should be the wall that we came in on. Hopefully there's no short. Let's head to the top and see what we see. All right, looks like there's only one way to go, and that's down. Yeah, I don't see any branches, so I guess we're going into the depths. Yep, only one way to go so far. That's what I like to see. <laughs> I don't want to have to swim through like five caverns on limited air supply. I don't even know if we can swap it underwater. I have no idea how the air actually works. All right, so far it's just a straight tunnel. No off branches, no offshoots. Oh, and we're greeted immediately by enemies. That's fun. All right, looks like there's nothing behind us that's going to take these guys out. Easy peasy. Oh, or not. Oh, wait, where did he go? Did he just, is he in the, no, he's right here. I'm going to loot these bodies and then we'll get back to checking out what's in this cave. There we got another one coming. He gave me this war cry. Our strength level must be up or something because we are obliterating these guys. More bones for the pack. Let's go ahead and equip that armor just in case we get in a bad situation. I, could, I do have some tech armor we could equip, but I'm going to save that. I'm not sure what's going to come later in the game. So for now, we'll just wear this easy to get armor. But like I said, I came with extra batteries. Um, we have a circuit board. We've got two bombs. We should have some grenades up here in our crate. We did go get another pistol. I don't think I covered that earlier. We picked up another pistol and another pistol rail. It respawns once you log back into your game. So Virginia has one and then we have one now too. All right, so right here, we uh, immediately right on top of the water, we have another air tank, some clothing, a wetsuit, and some 9mm ammo. I don't know if that's good or bad. There's more enemies right here. Let's go ahead and knock them out. Got one more to go. Come back here, buddy. We're not done talking yet. Oop, and we got a slide right here. <laughs> I have no control, so we're just going to follow the flow. And let's get out of the water just in case there's a short. And then we can investigate what's around us on this ledge. Duct tape, some more meds. We're good on health right now, so we don't need those. Some flares. Is that a cup of ramen? Yep, ramen noodles. More duct tape. You can't duck it. You can leave that unsaid. <laughs> Crossbow bolt and some more 9mm ammo. Some skulls. We don't need those. We have plenty back at the house. Man, we could go down that way. There's lights. Or we can go down here and dive again. Let's go. Ahead. I'm going to look around the ledge real quick and then we'll dive and see if there's anything there. If not, we'll pick back up at following the path. Let's so have some cases right here. They're hard to see because they're black. And the light itself is right here in the ground. It's already turned on, but it's still hard to see. Very low luminance. So, you know, do your best. It's actually three cases, and it's right when you come out of the water. It's a C3 enemies. Let's go ahead and wipe out four enemies. Wipe them out the best we can. At least three more, maybe four. Pull back. See if I can't get something a little bit more persuasive on him. Old handy dandy grenade.
Do a good old dead check on him. Right, let's see, we've got at least one left alive. As soon as I drop my block, he hits me. <laughs> Where's son? That's right. That's how we do this. All right, I think it's clear. I'm going to loot these bodies real quick, and then we'll pick back up and head it on down this path. So if you ever have trouble looting these bodies to get their skin, just go ahead and hit them one time with like your axe or whatever weapon you're using, and you should be able to get it get to it then because some of these I couldn't target until I hit them one more time. So I don't know if they're playing dead or not, but uh, yeah, that'll get you the loot that you need to get your armor up. All right, so right here we've got some vodka, we've got some cloth, more vodka, another piece of cloth. So maybe they're suggesting you some Molotovs. It looks like we have two branches here, one to the right, one to the left. I'm not sure. We normally go right, so we're going to try left. It looks like a dead end. Try to jump up here. Yeah, it looks pretty empty. Feeling good about that. I don't know what's with all this ore. It'd be cool if we could mine this and maybe make some stuff. I think it'd be pretty awesome. I think that's the one thing I wish they had done in this, and I'm sure they've, it's early access. I'm sure they have more features coming. Uh, I'd like to see more building as far as like building like maybe not curved walls and stuff, but at least angled walls instead of just having to box everything in. All right, so we have tons of bones and everything else right here next to this light. All right, so I see a bunch of enemies in there. Um, looks like one's transforming. Let's go ahead and let's try to throw some flares because I have plenty back at the base. We're going to actually light it this time. <laughs> maybe it'll help us see. All right, that one came right back at us. Oh. <laughs> I didn't like that one, my bad. All right, let's get our axe re-equipped. Uh, I gotta get used to using the backpack. Like I said before, if you missed the previous videos, if you hold down I for inventory, you can get your backpack and you can equip what you want on it. All right, so, oh, I hate these guys. Yeah, their attack pattern is usually twice. Right, he's down. Took half my armor, though. I messed up really bad. Yeah, so if you, can, if you can manage to stay behind them, it's usually not that bad. Wow, they're all transforming. And there's one of the two-headed guys. We have two pieces of armor left. Let's back up a little bit, see if we can't re-equip. Uh, you can just run by the enemies normally if you want to. Uh, I prefer fighting them just so they're not behind me. So we have some leftover skin from before. Let's go ahead and put that back on. I guess we can slap together some Molotovs too while we're right here. I'm doing my best not to play this the way I played the forest, where I just saved all my resources and beat the game with both endings <laughs> and never used anything. I mean, my, the first, like, one of the first video games I ever played uh, back in the day would be, like, Final Fantasy VII and, and Final Fantasy I and stuff. I'd never, ever used, like, potions and things. I just, <laughs> I held everything on. For that one day, I would need it. All right, so we're full of Molotovs now. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. If nothing else, this will let us see if the enemy better. Oh, of course he attacks me as soon as I pull it out. Oh, and I missed. Dang it. This guy's tearing me apart. I'm stuck. Light it up. Light it up. Alright, buddy. Come here. Oh. I am not good with Molotovs. <laughs> so I get for running my mouth. Really don't want to step in that fire. I don't. I don't need to take more damage than I already have. All right, he's down. I don't really mind losing hit points. We've got the meds. I do know that one guy is going to require grenades, bombs, a gun. Uh, I've yet to find a way to melee one of those two-headed guys. So let's go ahead and pull out another Molotov. Really hard to press L while trying to back up. Oh, where did you come from, son? Oh, there's a gift for you. Let him burn, take damage. We're going to back up because I'm pretty sure that'll set me on fire. If I designed this game, I'd make something burning set me on fire. Okay, we've got one piece of armor left on us. Oh, 
Scary guy's coming for us. We have no armor. Don't want to get hit by him, probably. I would just assume. Let's see if I can back up far enough to re-equip. Ooh, two pieces. Is all, that's all I have left. Might be time to test out the pistol. Hey, he's unhappy. <laughs> hey, where did he go? He's behind me. Oh, no. <laughs> go away, son. You know what? Let's test the pistol. Why not? There's no point in dying. Ooh, shiny. So I guess it comes loaded because I couldn't reload it unless R is not reload. I wish we had like an ammo count because I don't know how much we're holding, but that worked out nicely. So let me loot these bodies. Oh, nope. We've got another one coming. Nope. Go away. I'm not ready for you. There's your present. There's your prize for the day. Where's my 9 mil? How much do we have left? We have 15 rounds left. Alright, cool. Headshot. Headshot. Plant those freedom seeds. I think that was a miss even though he's like right there <laughs> all right let's get these bodies looted and we'll keep on moving all right so the a lot of my bodies disappeared before i could come back around the corner so maybe there's like a load zone right there and here comes another one of those guys like how many of these guys and my players are gone how many of these guys do i have to deal with <laughs> i'm out of molotovs too oh my god i missed what in the world what no they should be on their own how much nine mil do we have left eight rounds And we were back on the hunt. Hope, hopefully there's not too many more crawlers. I do see one more of the big guys. What if I can jump on him before he sees me? And not. Now that guy hits hard. He took my tech armor and all of my skins. And he's nowhere to be seen for loot. I think he fell into the rock. Now let's get the flashlight for a second. I've got plenty of batteries. So that's where we came in at. I don't think there's any more thing, anything else we have to fight. Maybe we get some bodies right here. What is that? Oh, flashlight attachment. Oh, one one shot. Run away. Run. I said run. I don't know where to run. I have no stamina right now. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, nope. I am not going the right way. Wait, let's do this. Pop some pills. Why is my stamina so low? Oh, that was rotten meat. That was a bad idea. We'll drink one of these again. I came in with like rested with food. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I have done my medicine. The food, I think the food overwrote the medicine. So we're, we're going to sit here and let that regenerate. All right. So we're fully regenerated. Let's see if we can win a fight. Where did he go? <laughs> Wait, a baby. <laughs> Great. That's just taking taking damage for no reason. Oh, and he's back. Oh god, this is bad. Leave me alone. Wait, there's more babies. I, I gotta get out of here. There's too many. Where did I come from? I don't know. <laughs> this was like the, the path we came from. He's so angry. Oh god. Oh god. I want the shotgun. I have shotgun ammo. I want a shotgun. This is this is insane. And I feel like I'm losing food. I don't understand that. Alright guys, so we're gonna go back in with a stun button this time. I forgot I had it equipped on this game yet. <laughs> or on this save. Alright, so we're gonna go in with the lunge, which should be Wait, how Oh there we go. So it looks like you left click and then you hit right mouse button and you should be able to stun them. And that's going to be our method of killing them from now on. Should save us a lot of armor. I doubt I find the other body. Okay, I don't see anybody else around us. Now maybe we can check these bodies safely. There's a book here. You can't loot it. Can't do anything with it. There's lights in the ground. 
That one's already on. I don't see anything on the edges over here. Oh my god, really? How many of you guys do I have to fight? Like, this is getting crazy. We might just... Nope, he's coming. I was gonna say, we might just have to avoid these guys, but he's after me now. We could probably stun him. I just... I'm not confident in my stun skills right now. So let's get us a... Let's see, we had the bow. we we'll probably have to go with the pistol. I don't... We don't have, like, any bullets left, though. That's gonna be rough. I wonder if I can frag him. Did he follow me all the way this way? I see him moving. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I should probably back up, right? It's a grenade. <laughs> what if I can fast equip the axe and, and, and slaughter him? Okay, once again, hopefully we're done killing stuff. This is crazy, man. Like, maybe I just need to, like, to find a better melee weapon or learn combat in this game better. I'm not very good at blocking. Definitely a struggle for me. All right, what do you have? Okay, so 9mm ammo. <laughs> we need that. Oh, we got a baby. We have a runner. Two more. Wait, wait. Wait, where, where did you go? Oh my god, there's so many. Stop it. Why are there three of you? And their hitboxes are so weird when that like when they hit you. I know you're alive. Wait, are you alive? Something's oh, screaming. Oh, there he is. Where did you go? Oh my god. Nope, nope. We're in a, we're stuck in a corner. Let me out. Why? Why do I have to fight all these guys? This is crazy. Alright, we're gonna frag this guy too. Hand grenades are easy and cheap. Nope, leave me alone. You're too close. I don't like it. Please don't run at me. Eat that. Eat it. Choppy time. Are they respawning because I'm stepping too far away? Like, what? What is going on? I can't. I can't keep taking this much damage. All right, we've got some meds, some duct tape, more nine mil ammo. Good. <laughs> um, we're not doing so well. Another light. I'm hoping everything just goes in one direction. These caves are massive. They did a great job on the cave design. Players, nine or stun gun ammo actually. Why is that purple? Carbon fiber arrow. I must have hit those while I was running by. I think I already looted this guy. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this room. We, get, we have another crate right here. Crossbow bolt. I don't have a crossbow. It's not helping me. Give me something I can use. My flashlight dying. This cave better have something good in it. This is uh, really expensive so far. Better have some good loot. That's all I'm saying. Okay, looks like we're going back underwater. Let me uh, back out. I'm going to re-equip the armor because nobody knows what we're going to find on the other side. Two armor pieces. Wonderful. Do I have enough to make some of this? Wire. Wait, what else do we need? Circuit board and batteries. And we're going to try to save the meds. Like I said, I'm not, oh, there's money right here. I'll take I don't, I don't know if the money has a purpose besides burning it, but there's plenty of it right here. I don't think we can loot all of it. How did I miss that? I guess I didn't see the backpack because the light's so bright. I mean, I, I like the lighting in this game. It's really well done. All right, some money underwater, and we are swimming. Let's go. Looks like we're kind of low on oxygen, though. Is that a path that's kind of hard to get into? No. I don't think I don't know that's bad. We don't want to go in there. Might be too much. Wait, which way did I come from? I think I'm confusing myself. We're going to go this way and hope for the best. Oh, my God. What? Why? Why? Why are there so many? And they can run underwater? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, drown. Please drown. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's down. He's down. Sweet. One, two, three. There's four of them here. I can't handle four. Can I? I don't think I can equip anything while I'm underwater. Oh, wait. They're coming at me. Am I drowning? Oh, they're drowning. That's all I care about. <laughs> I can't, I don't think I can loot them. Yeah, I can't loot them in here, but I'll take, I'll take them drowning. There's still a few too many. Let's, we're going to throw the bomb over there. All right, we can take that. Let's get our axe out. We should be able to handle one, right? Hopefully that's all that's left. Wait, there's, how is there two? Oh my God, my bomb. And there's oh no, you gotta be you got to be kidding me, really? I don't wanna kill you. I think we're gonna debate him into the water. I'm right here. 
Here, come, come jump in the water. You know you want. Oh. Took a hit, anyways. I'm right here, buddy. Oh, there's still two of them. Get mad and jump in the water with me. I think he's down for the count. All right, sweet. I mean, I love to loot the bodies, but you know, if I can't, I can't. Okay, we got that one left. He's a fast runner. And yeah, there's like a good seven or eight enemies right there. That's that's insane. Can I loot that or is he? he oh, they're too deep. Fine, keep your skins and another one. I mean, that's like. What is that, like 10, 12 mobs? I'll have to count it when I edit, but that's crazy. And my flashlight's dying. I did not want to equip batteries. I wanted to swap to my lighter. There goes my tech armor. Go fight me again. And jump over here. A little bit more. There you go. Oh, and I'm stuck in the corner. Okay, we sacrificed all of our armor just to drown that guy. Should've just fought him. And this body disappeared. They gotta fix that. That's, I mean, like, how am I supposed to win that when there's, like, a dozen mobs chilling on top of me? And I hear more ahead. Wait, he's right in front of me. What? I seriously feel like our stamina is just draining really, really fast. Okay, so we kept moving forward. We have a bunch of babies in front of us. I'm wondering if I can't just run by them to save the armor and the hit points. I need, like, a sword or something, I feel like. Alright, jump at me. Where did you? That, that sounds like oh, that's a big guy. That is a two-headed to the water. <laughs> Wait, which? Wait, this way. Where did you come from? You know what? You know what? Let's, let, let's try to hand grenade this. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. That did nothing. What? How are you still attacking? Drown. Wait, what is that? They're dead. Is anybody else having like this many mobs when they come here? Somebody, somebody tell me in the comments, like, are you having this big of an issue? Cause this is insane. There's another one. Look at this. Three trip or three double heads. I don't know if I have enough grenades and stuff to clear this whole place out. I've got to be getting low. I've got three grenades left. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to shoot this guy. And it's three bullets each. Seven. Eight. Four and four. All right, so that one body's touching the water just enough I can't loot it, which is very unfair since they can hit me in the water. I should be able to loot them in the water. What? Why is there another one? Is there like a Virginia from the forest one down here like spawning stuff? Because this is crazy. I see something large moving. That's another two-headed guy, right? Yep. And we're out. We're out of ammo. That's not good. Come on, both. Wait, we're not going to see you using the bow. Wait, why are you behind me? What is going on? Like, how are they spawning behind me? I really need, like, a gun. This does not seem fair. <laughs> I can't. I just reloaded it, and I can't. It won't let me shoot it. That's stun gun ammo, and it won't let me fire the stun gun. All right, so I still hear more enemies ahead. Uh, we might just have to try to run through this. And hopefully we don't get hit so much that we die, because there's just too many.
The only thing I can think of is they're they're spawning somehow. Is that that isn't? I mean, that was just insane. I lost all my armor. But what's all the music about? Okay, that's bats. I guess we just found something amazing. Oh, we just got the shovel. So the shovels are located on this guy right here. I guess that means it was worth the fight, but man, that was a lot of mobs. Do I need to like shoot over there or something? What, what do we do here? Do we leave? <laughs> do we go back the way we came from? I like to think they're gonna, I don't know, give me some supplies back. Well, I guess I'll try to ease down this and see what happens. I can't walk forward. Okay, let's try to zip line. I don't see a white dot. All right, wait, maybe I need to reload. I still don't see a white dot. Left clicking, left clicking. I can't shoot anything. All right, so it looks like we're going to backtrack out of here. I'm assuming that's a spaceship or something. But either way, I, I, I don't see any way to get down there. It's not letting me. Because we can see the white dot like right there, but nowhere across from us. Okay, so there's an arrow I missed somehow. All right, I guess we'll get the flashlight back out really quick. Make sure we didn't miss anything. And then I'm going to head out of the cave. If I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. Um, that fight was... That was intense. That was way too much, in my opinion. Well, let's let's flashlight this side. Make sure that we're not missing something that we need. Still don't see a zipline dot. And like I said, I, I can't jump down there. There is a baby left. I don't want to take any more damage. Okay, guys. So there is a spawn tunnel or something. There's like one, two. There's at least five of them in there. I don't know. If they're spawning there or what's going on. I wonder if I can kill them without them killing me. All right, so everybody who's looking for this path, the spaceships like behind us and to the right right here is the actual pool that we came out of. Okay, so we're going to push forward into here. I'm probably just going to run around and run away from anything and everything. Okay, that guy was easy. We don't have to worry about him. Here comes the fast movers. Three of them. Oh, there's way more than three. Um, I don't know what to do. There's so many. All right, so we're going to keep trying to explore this. I'm trying to do a good job, I promise. <laughs> I just I don't know how much of this how much more I can take. We have the shovel. I'm assuming that's like the ultimate loot for this area. We've killed I don't even know like 30 of these things or more. And I'm seeing no reason to come into this large cave so far. I don't see a way out. I mean every cave we've come to has multiple exits. I don't see one here. And the only loot in here it was a single crate or two crates I guess now. Okay guys, so I was trying to get back out of the cave where we found the shovel. On the way back out... Wait, what was that noise? Sound like a baby. Alright, so I was trying to run back out. When I did, this wall exploded. And there's one of these big guys right here. I do happen to have one time bomb left. So let's go ahead and, and see what we can do. Because Every time so far I've found one of these, you need a time bomb to get through it. So let's throw one over there on him. Because this did not show up the first time we came through. Let's get our axe back out. I think I just saw an enemy too. Do we have armor left to equip? We do. And get the axe back out. Oh wait, those are bats. Hopefully that's always all we saw were bats. Alright, so we're going to take this other path. I'm hoping it's something different. I couldn't find a way out on the back side where we found the shovel. There's, oh my god, the babies. Look, look how many there are. That's, that's crazy. I think we just killed two in one hit. <laughs> so these babies will absolutely wreck your armor and your hit points. So be careful.
Alright, so the flashlight's dying. There better be something in here worth that. all of that. I mean, a, a time bomb plus, <laughs> like, two pieces of armor. Alright, so we passed the one body. We've got a skull here. We don't need that. Watch, it's just going to be like a quick way out. <laughs> That's how my luck goes. But this cave has been... Let's go ahead and put our batteries in. We're losing light. Okay, so we followed the path and there's a drop-off right here. I, <laughs> I kind of don't want to do this, but if we die, I'm assuming we'll just respawn somewhere kind of close to the front. Just like we did in the other cave that I died in, so... <laughs> let's look behind us one more time. So far, no loot. I really hope I didn't miss something about the other body. Yeah, yeah, it's just a quick exit. Put our flashlight away, see the, what batteries we have left on it. And we are outside of the shovel cave. So we just got the shovel. We like, I don't know if anybody else had, had that. I haven't watched any videos on it. I'm just playing this uh, so I can enjoy the game without having to know what's going to happen next. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that was less than fun trying to get this shovel. Like, I don't even, like where are we at right now? Let me, let me zoom out some. We have a safe... Okay, so that's the cave we went into. We came out right here at the end of this path. I mean, that's like it. I would never notice this cave. Maybe with a zip line you can go in through there, but you have to explode your way into the rest of it. You really wouldn't dodge much, though. It's still pretty close to the front. Uh, what's up, Kelvin? So we can go over here to the right and grab another GPS tracker, which might not be bad. I could definitely use the loot after everything we spent. I think, I mean, Virginia's down by the base. I think the only thing we can really do right now is to go in, yeah, like right below the helicopter. There's a cave above that, so maybe that's the next one we need to go to. It's worked out pretty well so far, going to the closest caves. I do want to go try to use a shovel, so I think we'll do that first, and then we'll close the video once I find something to dig up. I know where there's some unmarked graves. They should be, man, where are they at? They're on one of these cliff faces next to one of the flashing beacons. I want to say that one right below us, that should be the 3D printer, so we need a key card probably to clear that one. One. So I guess we'll head to this one close to the starting. I'm trying to remember what that one is. Oh yeah, that one's definitely a dig spot. So we're going to head towards that. So we're going to go hit the exclamation point and then we'll go to the green dot and we'll see what we can find because if I remember right, there should be two golf carts there and a spot to dig. Music